We're getting bigger and we're getting better. Just like the industry that's driving towards autonomous cars, connected cars, safer cars, all of that's going to be at the Washington Auto Show. We're going to have the alternative energy vehicles. So on the consumer side, some really cool things happening in 2018 at the DC Auto Show. We're going to have a 100,000 square foot indoor ride and drive from Jaguar Land Rover. The first of its kind in the US and supposed to be spectacular. Really excited about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of automotive rhythms. Kamani Rawlins reporting live from the Los Angeles Auto Show, here giving you a sneak peek at what's to come in the field of performance, electrification, and autonomous driving that you'll see in the District of Columbia at the 2018 Washington Auto Show, which kicks off Friday, January 26th. Now come join me as we walk through innovation. We have a tremendous focus on electromobility here, and the i8 Roadster specifically, fantastic car. It really looks great. And one of the things that's really cool about the Roadster variant is it's not simply a coupe with a section taken out of the roof. It's not at all. There's a tremendous amount of development work that went into this car. We're BMW. We're the ultimate driving machine, and, and it's very important that no matter how efficient the car is, it still needs to be the ultimate driving machine. This was a huge chance for us to raise the bar for Corvette. And each time we, we get to work on a project like this, we look to push those limits another notch. And here again, it's about 755 horsepower. It's about our most efficient aerodynamic package. It's really a chance to improve the lineage of Corvette for right. us. You're not going to see any wrestlers at the show this year, but you will see all of the local DC sports teams. The Washington Nationals, the Wizards, the Capitals, uh, the Redskins. We're going to have them all, each on a different day, so that'll entice consumers to come down, see fantastic cars that they might want to buy, but also some of their favorite sports celebrities and what cars they drive. Introducing the all-terrain Discovery SVX. It's Land Rover's ultimate vehicle when it comes to off-road performance. Hot like fire. Earlier this month, we revealed the LaCrosse Avenir. You can see a lot of the similarities in the grill. Again, we have this, you know, like you said, kind of this bold presence that comes mm -hmm. along with the grill. Um, you have the, the, you know, the beautiful winged uh, logo on there and the, on the uh, honeycomb across the upper and the lower gives the car an extremely nice presence. We're continuing to see improvement in electrification technologies every day. And between the model year 17, XC90, and S90 to model year 18, we went from a 9.2 kilowatt hour battery to a 10.4. Mm. So just in one model year, we were able to add a lot more power, a lot more electrical range. We continue to see those improvements over time. For right. the XC40, we are launching with the gas engine today, but there are plans to bring a fully electrified XC40 in the very near future. Another special feature you'll see is the all-new 2018 Kia Stinger, ripping the runway with a 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 pumping out 365 horsepower, allowing it 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. You'll catch this baby in our automotion display at the Washington Auto Show. First of all, this is, something, <laughs> this is something that our designers are very proud of. They talk about the car. It is basically a, a digital core wrapped in a soft skin. We really think of this as leading all the cars that are, are coming for us next yeah. year because it has the new generation of the MMI and the new generation of all the driver assistance. So all the technology in this is going to work its way into A6, A7, A8, Q, Q8 after that. Wow. The show will open to the public on January 26th, which is a Friday, and run through two weekends and end on February 4th, which will be the Super Bowl. But people prefer to come down to the show during the day on that Sunday, and then they all rush home around 5 o'clock to see the big game. The show is on three levels now. 
And the upper level is a, our latest attraction where we're partnering with Automotive Rhythms to bring in Art of Motion, where we're painting cars live at the show and uh, the consumers can come and, and check out their favorite artists and see some different uh, cars being painted. It's really neat. We also have the exotics up there, the eye candy that everybody really wants to check out. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our innovative vehicle platforms that you'll see at the 2018 Washington Auto Show. Welcome to our future.